I have a confession to make. I thought outside my building that they were fixing the bricks this whole time because the bricks did look really bad, but they are not. They are doing something so much cooler. It is a full on graffiti set. See, I thought they were fixing those bricks there. It is awesome. Great job. Awesome stuff. They probably think I'm just some crazy person. <laughs> Today I want to tell you three short stories and they're three short stories that have three lessons that I've taken from working in the tech industry for the past six years. And if I hadn't worked in the past six years, if I hadn't learned any of these lessons, I would not be prepared for what I'm about to accomplish in the music industry for the next decade. One of the biggest lessons I learned at Shopify was ideas are useless without execution. You don't have to be an idea person to do something great. You just have to be someone who executes on something. And I had to learn that the hard way. I first was more of an idea person and I would come up with all these ideas but never actually executing on anything. I had a manager and his name was Bruno and he said, your, your ideas are great but it's not the ideas that are valuable the execution that you put behind the ideas to make them valuable. You don't have to be an idea person. You just need to be a doer and you need to execute on things. And a lot of people have a lot of great ideas and they talk a lot about their ideas, but they're not actually worth anything until you put the ideas into place and you execute something behind it. I just went for a nice bike ride. I'm gonna to go to Beta House right now. And actually, since we're on the topic of Shopify, I'm going to go make a Shopify store. I'm going to be selling some merch there like t-shirts, bracelets, caps, and things like that. But also I'm gonna be selling my music and digital downloads and albums as well. My new wheels. Thank there you, you go. Much. What's your name? My name is Charles. Charles. Yeah. Every time you make a cappuccino, it's delicious. That's why I come back here. I do. I do make an effort. Yeah, it's delicious. You guys will enjoy that. It's fun. When I first started at Shopify, I was a recruiter and I interviewed probably over 2,000 people in person. And so I practiced a lot of listening first, then speaking. And it was a manager that told me that, his name was Doug. And he said, always listen first and then speak if you have to. A lot of the times people speak first before even listening. And a lot of the times what they have to say is useless or they didn't need to say anything at all. I worked for Shopify's chief product officer for over a year, and his name was Craig. And one thing he did in every meeting was he asked the stupid questions, or he always admitted something that he didn't know. And I thought that was super valuable, and that I've taken that away in my daily life, and I try to admit when I don't know something, or I always try to ask the stupid questions when I don't know the answers. And I think that's really hard to do because we're all very proud not to admit that we don't know something can be often very humiliating, but at the end, you learn more with asking more questions. Yeah, just got back home. I ended up talking to the graffiti artist downstairs. I ran into one of the guys and he, uh, they saw that I was uh, doing a time lapse uh, out of my balcony with the tripod, so they asked for the footage. And uh, I showed it to them outside and they were really stoked about it, so um, that's really cool. 
they are packing up now and they're finished the painting so I'll see you I'll show you the final product actually the final product won't be really available until tomorrow because that's when they take down the scaffolding so 